I can't believe it, Bomby. One of those stupid witches poisoned me again. Oh, you got me some milk. Awesome. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. All right, I'm going to feel so... What did you do with this? What was in that milk? That is not nice, Bomby. Hey guys, it's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today it's going to be a mod showcase on the Trollcraft mod. And guys, what this mod does is it adds in a bunch of blocks you can use to troll your friends and what's unique about this mod compared to other trolling mods is you can actually troll yourself. And I know that sounds like it makes no sense, but a lot of these blocks actually spawn in your world and you may get trolled if you play this in single player. It's really cool. Alright guys, so the first item, it's really important. You need a troll soul. So you're, you're a bad person if you make this. All right, so it's like a skeleton face. And to create it, it's going to be an ink sack, soul sand, and bone meal. Kind of a weird combination, but it's really important. And you get four of these. And it's used in pretty much every single thing in this entire mod. And by the way, Bami loves trolling, so he's definitely joining us for today. All right, so the first one is stone. It looks normal, but it's troll stone. And to make this, guys, it's pretty much going to be, you know, put it next to stone, and now it's troll stone. And the difference between this and normal stone is it actually drops down. So you can see I set this up, so I try to put up some examples of something that might happen, something you might want to set up to, you know, kill a friend or something. So basically, it falls down. So if I were to mine this diamond, they would actually fall on my head, so you could easily suffocate someone with this. You could set up some kind of cool thing, or you could just, like, you know, drop it on your friend. There's a lot of cool stuff you could do with it. But I thought this would be cool. Set up some, like, diamonds. Someone's definitely going to mine that. And then all the blocks are going to fall right on top of them. So kind of cool and pretty easy to make. And there's no way you can tell any difference between that and normal stone. And, of course, when you're in survival, guys, these spawn naturally in your world. And you might be in a cave and something like that might actually happen to you instead. And if you think about it, this one is pretty much just gravel, except you wouldn't expect it to be falling on your head. And the next one we're on to is troll sand. And to make it, it's pretty much the same thing. It's sand right next to the troll soul. And this one's a little bit different than the stone. So instead of it falling down, this one you actually just fall through. So you can set up some awesome traps like a giant pitfall. No one's going to see that coming. You could easily kill them. But yeah, keep in mind you probably don't want to set it up like this. Maybe on the beach or the desert or something like that. Probably work a lot better. And guys, these can spawn in the desert, so you might be traveling through it and actually, like, fall into a hole or something like that. And a trap like this can be cool. You know, set up some lava, your friend just falls right into it. I see so many different options for this, plus so many things that could go wrong with these spawning naturally in your world. And next up, guys, we are onto the TNT, which is Bami's favorite of all. And I'm pretty sure this one would get me every time, it really would. So it's TNT right next to the Troll Soul. And the thing about it is the TNT, it actually, like, it doesn't do anything special, except if you try to pick it up, it blows up. Like, if someone left TNT on the ground, the first thing I would do is punch it, because I would try to pick it up. That's how you pick up TNT. But this is really sensitive TNT, so it actually blows up if you try to pick it up, making it super dangerous. I mean, I'm pretty sure this would get me every time, and it, it got the, I trolled the cow, right? Sort of, he, he's dead anyway. But yeah, the way it works is it's just really sensitive TNT. If you put it down next to a friend or something, I mean, they're probably gonna try to pick it up. And if they do that, it's actually gonna blow up in their face. I can see it going like this for me. I'd be like, oh my God, there's some TNT over there. Better grab it, and you know me, I'd probably be right on top of it. And then it would just all blow up in my face. One of the coolest features of this mod is every single ore has its own troll version and they spawn just as often as normal ore. So when you're breaking it, you don't know what you're going to get. And you really don't because if you break this, which looks exactly like coal, you won't even know until you put it in the furnace. Because this is actually the worst fuel ever made. It takes over 100 coal to smelt one item. That's how bad it is. That is so funny. All right, so we're going to grab this pickaxe and we're going to try to smelt some chicken. So yeah, you're going to go mining and you're going to get this stuff and... You're not even going to notice there was any difference at all. Then later, you're going to be like, I got so much coal. Let's cook some food. You're going to put it in, and then this is going to happen. It's instantly gone. You need 100 coal to actually smelt an item. It just, it just doesn't do anything. So the trolling doesn't actually happen until you try to use it in a furnace. You could actually craft the coal, too. And to make it, it's going to be an ink sack, stone, and a troll soul. The iron one is pretty bad too, so guys, this one, we're going to get some real coal, because we're going to need it. So I'm going to break this, 
and then you'll see what happens when I put the iron one in a furnace. So yeah, every single kind of ore, it trolls you, and it's going to be 50% of the time because they spawn just as often as normal ore. So we'll put in normal coal. This is real coal, guys. It's going to work. And we'll put this in. It's going to smelt, but it's not going to be exactly what you'd expect. And you can see it says iron ore. Like, it's confusing. And then what comes out? Dirt. That's what you get. So you're trolled right off the bat. That is pretty sick. And to make the iron, it's going to be light gray dye, stone, and a troll soul. The next one we're on to is gold. And this is pretty similar to iron. So we're going to grab some. We'll mine this. It seems like normal gold to me. But then I'm going to try to smelt it. And something bad is going to happen once again. So yeah, this one is really similar. It does pretty much the same thing. Except you don't get dirt. I think this one is sand. We'll see in a second. But yeah, you can end up with so many materials. And then that happens. So yeah, my gold was actually sand. Which isn't that bad, I guess. I could like re-smelt it and get some glass. It's got to be better than the dirt one. If you really want to torture someone with gold, it's going to be dandelion yellow, stone, and a troll soul. The next one is redstone, and honestly, I think Jen would like this one. It trolls you, but it, it's really not that bad, at least in her opinion. So if you break this, instead you get a rose. So if you have, like, ore spawn installed, this could be amazing for, you know, taming girlfriends or something like that. So kind of useful, but definitely not going to help you build any contraptions at all. Because this, this is not redstone. This is not redstone at all. Although it's, you know, kind of pretty, I guess. The redstone one's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be two roses, rose red, stone, and a troll soul. All right, so the next one is lapis. All right, so we're going to mine this. And yeah, what do you get from this? You get mushrooms. That's what it is. So lapis is actually going to be mushrooms instead. So these, they troll you the second you mine them. Not when you put them in a furnace, which is brutal. I mean, you could think you got like a stack of fuel and then find out you have absolutely none. The recipe on this one is kind of surprising because you actually need real lapis to make it. Stone and a troll soul. But you get five of them to mess around with. All right, guys, we're on to the worst one by far, and that is diamonds. I know it sounds like it wouldn't be that bad, but there's an entire fake set of diamond stuff. So you don't even know until you craft stuff with it. So what we can do is we can mine this. We'll get some diamonds. They look normal to me. They're, they don't say fake diamonds on them or anything. All right, so there we go. We got six of these things, but they're not real, guys. They are not real. Let me actually get a crafting table really quick, and we'll craft something. All right, so let me put this down. And still, at this point, you still don't know. So, I got a diamond helmet, but it's not a real diamond helmet. So, if I put this on, I'm pretty sure I don't get many armor bars. Yeah, you get half a bar from that. You get almost nothing from the entire set. Let's put it on. All right, let's grab all this stuff. And the recipes are the same as normal Minecraft, except with, you know, troll diamonds, which you get from the fake ore. So, if I put this on, I get two armor bars. It's the worst armor in the entire game. So, don't enchant it before you check it, because that would be really bad. And the cool thing about it is durability is almost zero. So we're going to try to fight some mobs and I'll show you guys what happens. I guess I'm ready for this. Zombie Pigman, of course he's got an enchanted sword. Of course he does. So if I hit him, look, my weapon, it's broken. He broke my weapon. Oh, God. The battle's on, bro. The battle's on. You're going to Oh, come on. That was so close. That was so close. We got to see what was left of our armor. And that is how you troll yourself. All right. So let me, let me kill him here. We'll see what's left. Is my armor looking okay? Is it looking all right? So yeah, the durability, I guess it's not that bad, but it's just, I mean, the durability isn't horrible. Uh, it's, it's pretty bad. I only fought like a couple things. And is my helmet still here? There it is. But yeah, it's, it does no damage, guys. It does no damage. I fought with that weapon. It only lasted for two hits. And my armor, it's like, it's like a fourth broken just from getting hit a couple times. If you decided to use your items or tools instead, then this is what happens. Two hits. Two hits. What about the dirt? Two hits. That is ridiculous. I kind of want to try to get some stone. I'm not even... Don't even worry about it. We'll just... Bam. It's gone. You know? So this stuff, it does not last long. The armor is terrible. And you really don't know until you craft it. And then you die a horrible death like I did. And if you're evil enough to craft this diamond, it's going to be light blue dye, stone, and a troll soul. So it's not really too bad. And thinking about it, you could probably give someone the entire set and give it to them like right before a boss. They might not notice and die in like two seconds. So guys, the next one is going to be seeds. I know it sounds weird, but it's actually kind of cool. So to make this one, it's going to be a bunch of seeds, a troll soul, and rotten flesh. So I'm going to grab this, and when you plant it, you kind of get a surprise. You really... Oh god, I almost walked right into that. Almost, almost trolled myself. All right, so what this does is it, it grows a zombie. That That is not normal, is it? All right, bro. I, I don't want to fight you right now. 
But you can see this one, it's a little buggy because there's like a second one that doesn't really exist. But when you relog, the dude will be gone. The milk might actually be my favorite one. So this guy's, it's going to be a troll soul, bone meal, and a bucket of water. So give this to a friend, poison them somehow. It's probably a good idea. Poison them, then give them the milk. Be like, drink this, bro. You'll be fine. They won't be fine. So when you drink this, you have a 75% chance of getting every single bad buff except for the wither one. So it doesn't kill you. It just tortures you. I ended up with Hunger 2, Slowness 2, Mining Fatigue 3, Nausea 2, and Blindness 2. This is like torturing someone. I love it though. I mean, it looks like normal milk and then you drink it and yeah, it's not good, is it? As you guys can see, this mod adds in a bunch of really cool blocks for trolling people and some to even troll yourself. It's a lot of fun. If you guys want to check it out, the download, as always, is in the description. And if you enjoyed the review and the commentary, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you next time for another Minecraft video.